is up ladies and uh, dickheads how are you guys doing it is 2 30 meaning i got out on time today and on a tuesday that's stupid rare usually it's like for sure overtime mondays and tuesdays but the fucking boys picked all the cases and get in time we got all the trucks loaded and we got out just in time baby hell yeah i love when we get out at 2 30 man got me a nice pair of sketchers like i didn't know sketchers sketchers has wide wide fit and extra wide fit so i got these i got these max cushion extra wide fit sketchers and i swear to god my feet are like ten thousand times better during the day like if i would have just got these from the get-go i would have saved myself like 180 dollars well, yeah, time for a nice little night ride. 58 degrees. Pretty sure my ramps are gonna still be closed because these stupid fucking dickheads. I don't even know what they're doing. Oh, nice. This light turns fucking red for nothing. Literally not one car, and the light's like, let me go ahead and turn red for you, cunt. Delay your trip home. Okay, these are the shoes I'm talking about. Ugly as hell. It's got like a yellow to white. They're black. Not the prettiest looking shoes, but goddamn, the function is like honestly the best like most comfortable pair of shoes i've ever experienced in my life oh my fucking god dude you know what i'm just gonna do this oh shit that's a fucking police that's me right there but i don't care I ain't waiting for a fucking another red light. I'm like anxious to get home. Which way are you going, dick? God damn. I do wish work was a little closer to home. I know it's only like 20, 22 miles, but man, the last thing I want to do at the fucking end of the day is ride all the way home in the middle of the fucking night. Ugh. But some days it's like soothing. I ain't gonna lie, like if you guys you guys ever do like night drives or night rides it's actually like it's actually soothing it's relaxing damn look at all the orange lights on that thing dude some of these trucks are like overloaded with those orange lights i guess you can't have enough you know more visibility doesn't hurt dude i've been catching you know i mentioned like i rarely ever if like literally almost never see chp um like sitting somewhere blacked out radaring dude i saw some thank god it was on this side of the freeway not this side but um dude i i saw chp radaring and now i'm kind of scared to speed home but i do like i do love the night vibes though they're pretty chill three sisters truck stop does that mean there's like always at least three lot lizards there? You know some desperate truck drivers be picking up lot lizards and then as soon as they fucking blow their wad, they immediately regret it and probably realize they caught something. Like I bet a lot lizard's mouth, like an actual like frequent lot lizard, like a veteran lot lizard, probably has at least like Gonacifa herpalades in their mouth. At least. Like every stroke in the mouth that she's giving you, you're getting a fucking disease. So she's like, herpes, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea. And then and then after all the ones that are there, there you're just, there, there's like new strains of a bacteria just fucking forming on your tip. What if the truck driver did something? <laughs> What if the truck driver thought I was like asking him if he wants his fucking schlong slopped on? I'm like, what? I'm driving by the truck and I'm going like this at fucking 2.30 in the morning. Ooh, this truck in front of me doesn't have any rear lights on his trailer. Isn't that bad? Isn't he supposed to have running lights in the back? Oh, he's going to get fucking pulled over if a cop gets behind him. Man, I already gotta fucking get me some new tires with my with my first full check on Friday. The center of my tire, my rear tire on this bike is like fucking straight up old. Damn, so we're hiring two more people at my job. And I'm hoping we get some experience dickheads, man. I feel like with those two with two extra bodies that like know what they're doing and picked before, and not like me as like a fucking new dickhead. 
Like, I, I, can, I know how to do my job good and shit, but I'm just not as fast as these guys that's been doing it a long time. Like, I pick it like 50-something percent, which, honestly, it's kind of horrible, to be honest. I, I don't know how to, I don't know how these motherfuckers can be fast, like, for 10 hours straight. I just get, like, exhausted and shit, and I just can't do it fast. Granted, like, half these dudes are, like, some fucking skinny bone Joan guys, so they probably, they probably got all that energy and shit. And a lot of them are, like, you know, 20s and all that. But, um, but, yeah, man, we're, we're hiring two new people. That should, that should help assist us being able to go fucking home on time every day. Shockingly, for a Monday, we had 10,500 cases. Cases being, like, that's how many things we have to pick throughout the night, uh, throughout the day. Like, we have to do that, or, like, that's how, that's what causes overtime. And we managed to get it done on time yesterday, but we still had to do an hour overtime. What the hell is that smoke? Someone smoking a blunt on the train or something. What are all this, like, I wonder if this graffiti on these trains... I wonder if, like, it all stems from, like, all over the country. <laughs> Someone just wrote prick really big on the side of that trailer. <laughs> it is wrote prick. All right, let's see if my ramp's closed. My 215 junction. Riverside, San Bernardino, one half mile. The ramp closed ahead. Yeah, of course. Dude, they're literally, like, drilling holes into the ground and just sticking their dicks in it and just chilling. Like, I don't even know what the fuck they could be doing. Look at right there. Of course, it's the way to the left, the way I need and not the right. Man. Bro, it's been like three weeks now. Like, what could they possibly be doing? And it's closed. I actually got to get off and go get back on the freeway at the mall, which is like, like three miles up the road. Nice little downshift. Yeah. There's that orange car again. Every night that orange car is right there. I'm curious what he does. Like if he's restocking the dispensary or what? Because that's a dispensary right there. A very, very expensive one. Tunnel exhaust. I gotta say the two brothers on this bike is god tier and sound. Oh man, I'm in such a good mood that we got out on time. Like when I when I get out after my 10 hours, like it doesn't even feel bad. Like 10 hours ain't even bad. Like it's like the perfect time where I'm like, it's perfect for my, my four days of work. And I don't feel like overly uh Make sure this fucking dickhead sees me and stops. I don't feel like overly, uh, like, like worn out, you know? It's pretty good. Oh man, these shoes though, man, are a godsend. I'm so glad I got them. Damn, right there is like where that little encampment is under the bridge. I wonder how creepy that place would go to, would be to go to right now. This is like the only way I'd ever ride at this time of night because I'm coming home from work. It's honestly not that bad. Yep, so this on-ramp's closed right here. Yep, it's closed. Cookies. Dude chilling. High Times Market? <laughs> Why is it written like the High Times Mag? It's actually kind of funny. Jeez, man. 579 for 91. Fuck, man. Gas is like absolutely ridiculous. I spend like 50 bucks a week in gas and on a on, on by, by the way four days every four days I spend like fifty dollars in gas for a motorcycle. Just let that sink in. And I'm only riding like 40 miles a day. Isn't that fucking actually wild to think about? Look right here, you can see the ass end of what they're doing. Like let's see what they're fucking even doing here. Two dudes just sitting there with their dicks in their hand. 
getting that fucking late night tip. Fairview Ford. <laughs> Dude, that Ford dealership's been there like, I think longer than I've been alive. I always remember the commercials on the radio back in the day. They'd be like, Fairview Ford. You guys ever remember like little jingles growing up on the radio and they just stuck with you your whole life? We used to have one that... <laughs> Dude, honestly, jingles are the best way to, like, get a brand into someone's head. Like, literally, it is the best way. Like, that's why Charlie Sheen was so rich in Two and a Half Men with his fucking jingles. We had one, like, it was called Shaver. And, I, and I, I'm pretty sure, I think it was a car lot. And, like, the fucking, <laughs> the radio thing would go, sh -sh -sh Shaver, sh -sh -sh Shaver. <laughs> it was so fucking cringe. But it was stuck in your head. And you remembered it. Oh, I know one all of you guys probably know the fucking... If you have a structured settlement and you need cash now, call JG Wentworth, 877-CASH-NOW. Dude, that, that, shit was, that shit was such a banger, it's still playing today. And that shit was... That, that commercial's been on the air for probably like 30 years. Well, ladies and dickheads, it's going to conclude this little ride home. Just want to do, uh, bring you guys with me on my little commute. I appreciate you guys watching. I always appreciate you. I'm still doing good. I'm working. And, uh, yeah, man, as always, all links will be down below. If you're supporting me, shape, or form, go to my shirts. Uh, I'm still streaming on the weekends if you guys want to come hang out on the stream, have some beers with me and whatnot. And, uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the out of that like button and you guys have yourselves a real good day and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>